Good morning, Year 6. It is time for your Mixed Maths today. Only three questions for you today, because number one, there are two bits to it. So, could you find the perimeter and the area of this shape, of this rectangle? So you need to find the perimeter, the distance around the edge, and the area, the number of squares within that shape for me, please. And for number two, you've got a multiplication, a four-digit by a two-digit. And then number three, you've got seven-tenths. What is that as a percentage? So three questions, but there are two bits to it for this one. So could you find the perimeter and the area for this one? Find this answer to multiplication and find this fraction as a percentage. So if you could pause the, pause the video there, year six, have a go at this and then see how you do in a moment. Okay, so if we look at number one, finding the perimeter and the area. So if we look at finding the perimeter, first of all, if this edge here is seven meters, this one opposite it also has to be seven. If this edge is six meters, the one opposite it also has to be six. And finding the perimeter, remember, is adding up all the sides together. So we need to add these all up, don't we? So two different ways we could do it, we could well, lots of different ways, in fact, but I think the way that I would do it is 7 and 7, you know that it's 14. 6 and 6, you know that is 12. If you add that 14 and that 12 together, the perimeter is 26 metres. OK, or you could have done it the other way, little marker there going around. 7 and 6 and 7 and 6 gets you to 26 metres. So the perimeter of the shape is 26 metres. Now, if we're looking at finding the area of the shape, I'll put A for area. It's the number of squares in this shape, isn't it? And the way to calculate that is by multiplying the width by the height. So I'm multiplying 7 by 6. 7 times by 6 is 42. Now, remember that the unit of measurement this time is metres. And you need to put the squared sign there as well, because it's the number of squares in the shape. I could here go across and do... Right, do draw seven lines up there and six across and count the dots like we did yesterday to see how many squares there are. However, that's quite time consuming. But if we multiply the width by the height, seven times six is 42 metres squared. So there are your two answers for number one. Right, so if we do number two now, if we move on. So if I put a line across here now, I'm going to have the answer down here. This first line we're going to be multiplying by 7, the next line multiplying by 50, we've just partitioned haven't we, we split 57 up into the 7 and then the 50. So if we do this first of all, 7 times by 3, 21, 7 times by 7, 49, add the 2, it's 51. Then moving on, 7 times by 8 is 56, then if we add this 5 on is 61. All the problems. 7 times by 1 is 7, then add the 6 on is 13. Nothing left to multiply, so we can just write that in there. Now we've used these numbers here, so I'm going to you could put a line through them, I'm going to rub them off just because I have no space. Now on this next line, we're adding this 0 in here. That way we can just multiply by 5 instead of multiply by 50 every time. So for example, if we look at this first one, 5 times 3, we know that's 15. But really, it's 150, isn't it? It's 50 times by 3. But we've put that 0 in there because we're multiplying by 50. So everything's just moved over 1. So 5 times 3 is 15. And because of that, we can just write 15 in. But you can see it's actually 150. Then moving on, just like we did before. seven uh, 5 times by 7 is 35. Add 1 is 36. 5 times by 8 is 40. Add the 3 is 43. 5 times by 1 is 5, add the 4 is 9. Remember, in this second number will always be larger, so we add them up now, don't we? Because we split these up. If we add 15, 7, it equals 57. So if we add these two numbers up, it will total our answer. So 1, 6, 7, 6, and then 9 add 1, 10. 106,761. Right, looking at this one now, number 3, 7 tenths as a percentage. Remember in that percentage, percent is out of 100. So what we want to do 
is we know to change this denominator into 100. What do I have to do to 10? To turn it into 100, I have to times it by 10. So I need to do the same to the numerator. So it's still an equivalent fraction, but the denominator is 100. So we know that the denominator will be 100. 7 times 10 is 70. So 70 becomes the percentage. 70%. Okay, thanks a lot, Year 6, and now we will move on to our lesson looking at area.